Hi guys, now I regularly get inundated with hundreds of messages and unfortunately I can't always respond to them all, but there's one question that keeps on cropping up all the time. Which is the best product out there that I can use to dress my bumpers because they're looking faded and tired? And to be honest with you, there's only gonna be one product at the minute that I can honestly recommend. Spoiler alert, it's not this. So I was sent this product about a couple of months before it even came out. So I think it's been out for around six, seven months, maybe around that sort of time. And I have to say, I'm now down to, this is one of the original bottles, by the way. I've used about 40% of it. And it's not like a typical bumper dressing. I think when you get those dressings, you find that there's a very thick gel gooey like structure to them. This is slightly different and I wanna give you some quick examples because I have used it in some videos. So I just wanted to show you why I really use this one all the time over say something like this graphene trim dressing from Turtle Wax. To help you understand plastic coat, it's basically a go-between product, which isn't like a semi-permanent treatment like G-Technic C4 and it's not a conventional dressing like you may find from many of your valeting suppliers. So your typical tire slash bumper gels are purely designed for people on the go like car cleaning, business businesses or just somebody who wants to spruce up their car when they're selling it and as amazing as they initially look when you first apply it to any vehicle you soon realize within about two weeks it's completely diminished which by the way is not necessarily a bad thing and I do want you to look at this in a different light because when I was a mobile car cleaner what I did find was when I had more durable products onto a vehicle I didn't really get as many callbacks as I would hope. However, when I had something that was short term, what I'd find was it would initially look amazing. The clients would all be very happy, but then within about a couple of weeks later, they'd pick the phone up and say, oh, my car's looking tired again. Can you make it look beautiful? And that is how I got repeat business. Application is very easy. For best results, make sure the area you intend to treat is clean. So remove any old gels off the bumper or it will affect the way that it bonds. Also, make sure the surface is dry and the car is out of direct sunlight. So durability wise for something like this although the website does claim that it can give you up to six months protection honestly I would take it with a pinch of salt and the reason why I say that is because that's a maximum amount of protection based on many different scenarios. It could be a scenario like this where this has been applied and then left for six months and it's not been out in the elements. For those of you who got your cars in constant use on a regular basis, I think realistically you'll be good to get around two months out of this. And the thing is with all these trim dressings and bumper coatings out there, they're not very easy for manufacturers to perfect. And I do revert back to G-Technic C4. This is called a permanent trim restorer. And the thing is on the back of the box, it says it would give you up to two years protection. So it's not exactly what I would call permanent. Now, if you look very closely at that thumbnail, you will notice a complete night and day difference when you look at the wing mirror, when you see how it was to what it currently is now. But if you look very closely, what you'll find was I actually over applied it. I applied way too much purely to get the thumbnail going, just so you can see this massive comparison. So what happens is, and I really want you to sort of take this on board, if you apply too much of this product, you will get this greasy finish. Now it says on the bottle you've got to apply it very lightly so you put a tiny drop and then work it in and then what you have to do is realistically leave it for about half an hour before you go over it again. So there's actually no buffing off involved. So you spread it and leave it. So if you do get that scenario where you have over applied the product, what you can do is just wipe it off. So I have a dedicated old rag that I use purely for bumper dressings and it is very easy because what happens is as this has sat on here now for a couple of weeks, which is incredible, you'll find when I buff this off, you're gonna be left with a non-greasy finish. Although I've got greasy hands, so I don't wanna to touch it, but you'll see, oh, no streaks, no grease, nothing, just perfect. So personally, if you're somebody who just wants to enhance a trim, i.e. for a customer, and you know that you're probably gonna go back to them in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, or perhaps you just want to sell your car, you just want to make it look amazing for that sale, then this is definitely something I'm going to recommend. It's about £15 for 500 mils. Really good value for money if you think about how much of the product you're actually going to be using per car. Realistically, I think you can get away with using 20 to maybe 40 mils of product on say something like this mini. One massive thing that I've noticed with this product is after you've applied it, let's just say you've let a couple of weeks or even a month go by, when it comes to re-washing the car again, you don't get any of this horrible gooey contamination. Now, if you have a tire dressing that, I know I see people do it all the time. They put tire dressings on the trim instead because it does give this nice finish. But what happens is whenever you're cleaning it, if you use a TFR or a citrus pre-wash or even a snow foam, you'll find it will leave these gunky streaks 
But then when you start the contact wash, some of that gel and that dressing jumps onto the microfiber wash pad. And then what you're finding is you're just spreading it over the vehicle and it literally becomes slimy and it's not really a nice experience. With this, you don't get any of those problems. I will put links, discount codes, and everything you need to know in the description below. And whilst on the subject of protection, I tried to uncover what some detailers say could be the biggest scam in the industry. To find out what it is, go watch this video right here.